Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We will continue the campaign today, guys, and our battle mechs, they, yeah, they need repairs. So what we do first is we're gonna repair those battle mechs and then we will travel to the next planet, which gives us the next story. By the way, this, this grasshopper is so huge. It is so damn huge. Let's see. What do we need here on the hopper? We have nothing critical, so we just repair. Okay. Uh, same here, just repair. The fire starter has some options now. We can drop those small lasers. Uh, definitely repair those. And we're gonna add the small laser tier 2 to the mech, which is better than before. So start work here as well. That's good. And then we have the blackjack with the medium laser and the AC2s. I'm not entirely sure if those AC2s can be upgraded. Aha! We can do that. We have burst fire AC2s. I like the idea of that. I like the idea of the burst fire here. Okay, start building it and yeah, we have a nice fire support here. Oh, also I forgot to repair here. The, yeah, I did forget to repair. Doesn't matter, we're gonna go to the star map and see what's coming here at Hsien. Hsien, I don't know. And we're gonna travel. Sure, let's go. We discovered an industrial hub, that's good. And we're gonna again drive the storyline a little bit further now. Let's see what it is. There was something about assassinating a governor or so? What would be funny is um, if the governor was in a mech, because that doesn't really make sense. Uh, target of opportunity, that's the one. It's a difficulty 25. I like it. We're gonna go with the salvage here. Could also get great money. Alright. Yeah, I still, I want to go with salvage here. We have a tonnage limit of 200. And I don't want to use the grasshopper right now. Honestly. I don't. By the way, what is wrong? What is wrong with the fire starter? Did I not repair him? I thought I did. Okay. So, instead of the grasshopper. Uh, we will wait for the starter here because we need it. Instead of the grasshopper, we will go in with the Jager mech again. I think it's just a better mech for the task at hand. And the rest of them, I would like to upgrade the fire starter. I actually, hmm, I can upgrade the centurion. What do we need? I mean, we have, we could use, we could use a frontliner. I'm gonna play the shadowhawk here. Yeah, I also want, I also want Freeman to get more missile and uh, energy proficiency. Let's do it. This is fine here, energy and ballistics and. You are also quite okay with what you're doing. Actually, let's go Let's go for Darden. Yeah, let's put the Shadowhawk on Darden. And you take the Fire Starter instead. Ooh, it's a bit of mi mixing and matching here, but we got it done now. Let's do it. So I'm gonna put the Fire Starter on Mr. Freeman, because he's quite evasive. That's really good. And he has some ballistic skills, so the machine guns are gonna be very handy here. Let's see. Attention. Locate the assassination target. So yeah, we have to kill this governor, and that guy is uh, in a mech, obviously. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. I would do the same. Strolling around phenomenal. in a mech all day, having a good time. One shot, one kill, commander. Oh, maybe he's not in a mech. Give him hell, Commander. I'll see you on the other side. Alright, can do. So, difficulty 25. It's quite a lot. I could have also used the mobile attack squad. Using all of my medium mechs here. Could have been, could have been a thing. I mean, me using the Shadowhawk, then we have the trap as a fire support, then, I don't know, the... Centurion and the Blackjack. Maybe not that bad. That would be actually a pretty good lance. I don't mind having a fire starter here, don't get me wrong. That's a, that's a pretty good, good mech as well. Good. And you can see the different auto cannons with the different cooldowns, they are already desyncing. Alright, let's go, guys. It's a small base here. Yep. And. But you got visual already. Roger. Focusing. 
Okay, Locust first. Easy target down. This guy is not gonna bother us anymore. Okay, fire at will. You're running a trebuchet there. I'll keep track of... Yeah, we kinda keep track of those guys. Those little pests. I love that the Shadowhawk just turned around and said, uh, uh dude, you're dead. Did you see that? The burst of the SRMs? Absolutely incredible. Okay, go for the... Yeah, the Javelin. Lots of SRMs in our back. I cannot have that. Good job, guys. VTOL? No tanks. Okay, kill him. Out of range there for the lasers. Damn it. That's Cicada. Got him. That is so much firepower on the board. We should have dealt with the tanks way early, honestly. <laughs> wow. Oh god, that's a lot. I didn't realize. That's so much. Holy cow. We just need to shoot in any general direction and we hit anything all the time. Frame rate is dropping a bit. I'm sorry for that, but that's probably because we have so many targets here. Okay. Good job, guys. I'm just gonna kill all of the. Oh, wow. Darden. 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 Don't die. Playing tank soccer. Okay. Darden and Ridley got hurt a lot. Okay, we got him. Still, there's so much. Good. Alright, the rest and the remaining targets are turrets only, so it seems. And they are not popped out. Okay, so we're gonna go to the evac. Oh my god, the Shadowhawk Darden, what have you done to the Hawk? Wow! The Blackjack? How does the Blackjack look? Ah, uh, medium laser got crit, but that's about it. Yeah, we have dropped in a pretty target-rich environment here. That was crazy as hell. So the only thing we need to make sure now is that we get the hell out of here. And if we do, we probably get the next instructions and uh, Ridley wants... No, not Ridley. What's, Rihanna wants to, wants to give us the next objective. Okay. Dropship inbound. And we're gonna get the hell out of here. I honestly wish I could play higher tier missions already. Higher difficulty, so that I can bring my Grasshopper as well as my Jägermech, as well as my Shadowhawk, as well as the Centurion or the Trebuchet. Maybe even the Griffin. I don't know, it's just... What an advance! Uh, he will take... What do we take? Nothing crazy. Okay, we'll just pick the value stuff and then we're gonna get out of here. Good. Nice. Oh, fire starter, 100 damage. Yet again, the Shadowhawk being a beast with the short range missiles. 300 damage on an AI pilot. After my 500, that's immense. It's really good. So, target of opportunity. Excellent job, Commander. That should put House Liao on notice. Now, let's see how they react. Hopefully the refugees are already on their way home, but the political situation is highly volatile, so there's no telling what might happen next. Either way, your payment or our payment for the job just came through. Uh, so the drinks are on me tonight. I'll see you on the bridge. 100,000 sea bills, okay. Cheap drinks then. I mean, 100,000 sea bills is probably enough. Repair. Okay. Repair. Okay. Okay, nothing got crit. Again, this is super good. Or nothing got destroyed. We got a crit on the laser, but we can repair that. Good. Next up, we're gonna talk to Rihanna again because she has another thing that we should do. I still wonder where this is going. We still need to find those Black Inferno dudes somehow. Let's see. Hello. Okay, Commander. Our work for House Marik is not quite finished. I've been informed that House Liao have retaliated because of our actions against the local governor by launching several military raids on Marik border outposts. Okay. The good news? It means another payday for us. 
House Marek wants us to hit back by destroying a military logistics center belonging to Liao. They're okay. hoping to hobble Liao's military capabilities in the border region and, in doing so, convince them to back down and allow the refugees to return home. The thing I find extraordinary is that House Marek is not going after Black Inferno. It was their egregious actions inside Marek territory that started this whole thing. Instead, they're focusing all their anger and resources on House Liao. If I had to guess, I'd say someone very powerful is behind Black Inferno's actions, and that whoever it is, they're using that power to shield these bastards. Uh -huh. As to who that benefactor might be, or what their endgame is, I don't know. Still too many questions, and not enough answers. For now, we have a contract to fulfill. I've prepared the mission briefing. Once you sign off on the op and get us where we need to go, we can launch. Copy that. All right. I'd say we're gonna do that right away because our lands looks good. Oh wait, we have some contracts here still. Uh, for Liao. I mean, they don't like us. We only get five negotiation points out of this. Everywhere we go. Hmm. 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 Demolition, demolition, and that's an assassination. I actually have no intent to go for the Liao's. I think I'd rather play for the Mariks and fight against Liao. I mean, when you take a look at the star map, I think the whole storyline will advance into this direction. Ooh, rare weapon on the market. Now oh, that seems interesting. I... You know what? I think I'll just travel there. Where's our next operation? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, collateral damage. The logistics center of the... The logistics center site inside one of House Liao's urban military complexes. Sits inside one of the complexes. Okay. Oh, language. The buildings housing the logistics are center are mission critical targets and must be taken out in order for us to get paid. Beyond that, Marek Liaison has put no restrictions on collateral damage. So what, do whatever needs to be done to succeed, Commander. You have free reign in this one. All right, we're going to accept that. Now, let's take a look at the star map. Where is that contract? It's right around the corner. But I want to quickly go over here because there are rare weapon systems. I know that we will spend a lot of time in space and that takes money and time. But it might be worth it. I've never seen uh, like an icon like that before. A rare weapon system to sell. Let's see what it is. It could be a... A narc. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, wait, Archer! Oh my god, there's no... It's just Archer. Archer! Archer! Archer. Period. <laughs> Archer. Yes, sure, please. Thank you. I'll buy it. Goodbye. Woohoo, we have an Archer. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm happy to see an Archer on the battlefield, you might tell. <laughs> Alright, we need to sell some. We need to sell some in order to get some money back. So, here's a Locust that we can drop. And then, and then, and then, and then... Ah, uh, big question. I mean, now we have an archer and it's coming in pretty good condition. We have two LRM-20s on this as well as four medium lasers. Absolutely glorious. I love it. Now, in terms of equipment, what do we get here? Nothing good. Nothing good. Nothing good. Nothing good. LRM-10. That's a buy for me. Hmm. That's an LRM-15. Two LRM-15 stream. I think it's better than having two LRM-20 pack. Uh, I need to think about that. I need to think what I want to do. So, this is the rare item. It's a tier 3 LRM-5, and that's a NARC. Hmm. Specialized missile launcher that fires a projectile that affixes to its target, improves missile locks and accuracy. Is that a thing I want? Seriously, are NARC good in this year? Because it weighs 3 tons. And I actually don't like to invest 3 tons in a thing that only helps us and doesn't deal direct damage. I think a NARC could be something in very special scenarios where you really direct your LRM lance to stay behind and then you sneak forward with a light mag tagging your target and then you tell your people via the commands to actually engage that target. I, I don't know. I think NARC is not good here. It's just me. Uh, instead, what are we taking here? No pilots. I wonder what the cap is, what the maximum is on this. I have no idea. So, so far we only see... 25... Roundabout uh, is the maximum of skills that a single pilot can have and we have some good pilots which are already covering that So I'm not gonna use or buy or hire any more of those 
So that was a bit disappointing, but we got an archer now, which is great. So what we do is we'll take a look at Battle Max, because I want to outfit that archer so that we can use it later. Let's see. Edit loadout. Double 20. Let's repair first. Armor looks great. Yep. <laughs> I'm on 14 on the back. Uh, and 20 on the center might be good, yeah. Here's the problem. The heat management of this mech is garbage. I would say we drop the 20s to 15s. Should be okay. Uh, four tons of ammo. Well, seems like a plan. Seems like a plan to me. Question mark. This might be even a bit too much. I think I can drop it to three, but I at the same time I don't think that I need to. So we'll just stuff some heat sinks into the mech so that it can fire more often. And I would say, yeah, again, armor is great. We can leave it as it is, absolutely. So we put another single heatsink over here. And that is going to be the build. Two LRM15. Streams would be better. Hell yeah. I think I want to play that. It's a 70-ton mech. Man, we have so much tonnage already, but we cannot play the missions yet. What we need to do is we need to advance in, in uh, reputation level. So, let's see. View system. We're going to go over here to Kapala. And play. Set course, 34 days. I would say this little adventure towards the travel hub there, towards the uh, industrial hub, definitely worth it. Cool. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that, that thing brings serious firepower, really. So, hello, Kapala. Four available contracts. Let's do collateral damage. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Now, that is a difficulty 40 mission. Uh, and I don't want a Siebel payout. Uh, I want to salvage. Let's see, that's a 14 only. So maximum thing that we could get is a medium mech. However... Yeah, I'm gonna take the Siebels. No, we don't need to. No, we get 700,000 out of this. Mm -mm, that's fine. I'll take the stuff here. No, I don't. We will probably get better and more stuff if we just get the sea bills and then buy stuff. Oh wow, we have a tonnage limit of 180 though. Uh okay. That's even lower than our limit that we had before. Crazy. Okay. Back to the Centurion. Back to the Batmobile. Back to the Trebuchet. Um up here. So, it's gonna be Centurion, Trebuchet, uh, Firestarter, as well as the Blackjack. I think I wanna play the Blackjack. Do I want to do that? Is that a true statement here? No, it's fine. It's fine. Also, I think we, we have not put our LRM Tier 3 into the... Yeah, I'll do it. Give me a sec. We should have one. Centurion, edit loadout. We should be able to put a Tier 3 in here. Yeah, Tier 3 stream. That's better. That's way better. Start work. We're gonna wait for that. Okay. Contract, let's see. So, Trebuchet, Centurion, Firestarter, Blackjack. Looking good. Ready up. Here we go. Oh man, I wonder how this goes. That's a difficulty 4 contract though, so I think we have to be careful. And we are quite low tonnage. Okay, get to the urban military complex, that's the first thing. No cheddar? Oh, we are losing sound. Oh, we are missing sound. Can I save this? Oh, it's there now. <laughs> All right, fixed it. Fixed the it. The military complex is not far from here. It's mostly an administration and tactical planning compound. So I don't expect a substantial enemy force to be on site. But you never know. Yeah. Just make sure to take out the main buildings housing the logistics center itself. Those are mission critical. All right. Of course, nobody's at home. Nobody will be at home when we are coming in. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, let's see how, how good the intel is there. All of a sudden, there's an Atlas. There's a Steiner Scout Lens guarding this complex. I can already see it coming. I really do think it's a good idea to have several mechs of different uh, tonnage set up so that you can actually put the right mech into the right scenario. Like here, 180 tons drop tonnage limit is quite harsh. And it's a 40 difficulty mission. 
So, I don't know what's coming. I really don't. And I'm using multiple smaller mechs here, because they bring more firepower combined. You're a smart ass. Okay, there we go. Good job. Alright, I'm gonna take it slow here. Let's see. Is that part of the complex? Our target is now marked. Yeah, it is. Okay. Enemy mag. Let's go for it first. I like the stream missiles. Cannot deny that. They are looking pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for night vision here. Okay, uh, tanks first. Tanks first, as per usual. Oh man, I need to relearn the velocity of this. Okay. I just heard target discriminated. <laughs> Would you please discriminate those targets? Ah, come on, we discriminate the locals here. <laughs> All right, the heat is critical. I'm getting. Oh my freaking god! Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of night vision again, by the way. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. Can I try to move my way up here to stomp on the tanks? What is that, my friends? Oh, heat, 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 heat. That's just uh huh. SR SRM carriers. There's so much firepower on the board all of a sudden. Good. Target destroyed. Wait, you're right here. Okay. Luckily, my shield arm is doing a good job. Still holding. Missiles, lasers. 96% heat, I'm riding the red line like a boss here. Got him. Oh, this is so much. There's so much in the proximity. Wait, 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 wait. Where did he go? Oh, oh, oh. I gotta keep shooting. Oh, Ridley. Ridley, Ridley, Ridley. The blackjack is getting thrashed. But hey, we are still alive. And we got him. So far, so good. First wave of attack destroyed. Now let's get back to the complex. And, uh, and destroy it. Where is it then? Oh, there it is. So we have a lot of long range missiles. I'm gonna use them a lot. Large laser turrets. Oh, they are upgrading. They are upgrading their point defense. Cool. Yeah, that was an AC5. That hurt. Ah, oh, there's another light mech coming in. Maybe there's a light mech. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, guys. We have to destroy those javelins. Yeah, that was a good hit. Some missiles on top of that. Do you like it? Uh, come on, clear line of fire. I need it. Good. Bad. Flyers. Good. Ow. Those SRMs. Again, they need to go. That's my arm. It's fine, though. Oh, Ridley is getting... Ooh, Ridley, Ridley, Ridley. Don't you die on me. Don't you die, Ridley. Okay, we're gonna get into the space now, and we need to kill. That's a scary mission. Ah, the turret is not popped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's be quick about this here. As quick as possible. Ugh, running through this. Guys, come on. Get into the base. We need to destroy. Mm. The blackjack. Oh my god. 
Can you evac, please? Can you just punch out? I want you to eject because I don't want you to die. That's the thing. Got this. 39%. Another light mag has just spawned right in our mid. Okay, go for it, guys. I'm gonna deal with the javelin here. Let's go back to first person. SRM carrier! That's my auto cannon! You bastards! Okay, so here's what we do. I'll just run through this to finish it. That's a scary mission. Holy hell. Doesn't make sense. I don't have firepower anymore. I'm down to two medium lasers and one LRM-10. So what we do is we try to destroy here. That. 9%. Uh. Ah, I'm scared. 7%! Let's get out of here! Got him! We need more structures to destroy! 5%! Come on, come on, come on, come on! I mean, that's the thing that I can do. I can provide fire support like that. And now we just go. We just run. I'm just getting out of here. Yup, yup, yup. That's another lance coming down, by the way, right? Or is that the evac? Is that our dropship or if it's, is it, it's the enemies? Hell, Ridley, live! Live! It's our dropship. Oh my god. No, 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 no. You don't die. It's not permitted. Let's get you out of there, Commander. Stand by. We got it. Ridley's safe. The Blackjack is a heap of scrap metal now, but Ridley is safe. Holy cow, what a mission. It's getting more and more dangerous. The drop tonnage limitation was the thing that kind of crippled us here. I mean, we get a million sea bills. Easy. So we can get something back. Uh, I'll take... I don't know. AC5 burst fire. Or AC5, regular one. <laughs> And yeah, this is our damage. 1.5 million. Not good. You did quite a bit of damage down there. Yeah, on my own max. You and you certainly got the attention of House Liao. I just got word that they've backed down, agreeing on to allow the refugees safe passage back to Marek territory. Well done. Okay, first things first. Let's tend to our max. Okay. Hmm. Regular AC-10, regular AC-10 burst. Ah, let's take the regular one. Repair all. 400,000. Ow. Trebuchet. It's fine. Trebuchet is okay. So, this is just repairs. Fire starter. Also, didn't lose anything. No, it was the Blackjack who almost got destroyed. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Alright, repair all. Uh, drop the lasers, drop the AC-2s, yeah. And then a bunch of heat sinks, that's it. Wow. Just wow. Um, I'm gonna take those tier 2 AC-2s, the regular ones now. <laughs> add some medium lasers back into the build. And we have one ton here. I think the rest was just heat sinks, right? Was it two tons of ammo? Might be that. Okay. Ow. That hurt. We have a financial report coming up, and I think it's the first time we, were, we are actually in trouble when it comes down to money. <laughs> Which is good. Guys, this is really good. I need an obstacle. I need to overcome an obstacle in order to have a good feeling. I want to get some stuff off the, off the field here. So we will sell those. Just want to have some surplus... Okay, AC5, AC5 burst fire. We have so many AC5s here. 
Okay, that's fine. Lots of LRM10s. Good. Um, we have two tier 2s, so do I need the tier 1s? Probably not. Yeah, that's money again, so two, two million Siebels is good. It feels good again. It's fine. Uh, medium lasers. No tier 0. Uh, small lasers can also go. Fine. Lots of SRMs. Yeah, I think this is, this is fine. This is how we roll, how we roll here. Cool. Wow. Next. Um, we have three available contracts here, but our next goal is to speak to Fahad. Let's go. Hey, mate. These bleeding mechs are gonna put me in an early grave. Fix one bloody thing and someone else goes to shit. Of course, he doesn't help you pilots treat them like you're in some kind of demolition derby or something. You know the phrase, cost an arm and a leg? Uh, it was made for you make jokes. No worries though, eh? Fahad will fix them up good as new. Nothing better to do, eh? All right, that's me, mate. Rough day, what can I say? Best go on and let me get back to work. But no worries, Commander. They'll be better than you when I'm done with them. You have my word. Uh, uh, okay. It was just a nice chat. Thank you for the talk. Let's speak to Rihanna again and see what we have to do next. Oh, I like that story pro progression right now. It feels like we're actually getting somewhere here. Let's see. Commander, I've got great news. Having identified the pattern that Black Inferno have been leaving in their wake, I've been able, with the help of Spears, to track some of their movements. We're trying to home in on their base of operations. For the moment, we don't have all the pieces of the puzzle, but I think it's only a matter of time now. That's great. Spears has been working closely with me on this. He just sent this transmission. Take a listen. Rihanna, using the information you sent me and by correlating the refugee movements we've been tracking, I ordered my intelligence people to start focusing their efforts on a very specific region of space. I was hoping to pinpoint Inferno activity in as close to real time as possible. My gamble paid off. It appears that Inferno forces recently seized a refinery from a private consortium and are using the fuel reserves to help power their operations. Commander, this refinery represents a high value target. By attacking it, you can deliver Inferno the first blow of many on your way to dismantling their operation and getting okay. revenge for your father's death. I have no doubt that's been your plan since the day Inferno struck Cavalier base. I'll help in any way I can. I've started by sending you the coordinates to the planet where the refinery is located, along with what little intel I was able to gather. It's not much, but enough so you won't have to go in completely blind. Good hunting, Commander. I'll be in touch. I've already added the coordinates into the nav system and put together a briefing from the intel spheres provided. Once you get us to that system, Commander, we can send them to hell, where they belong. Amen to that. Okay, so that's the next big thing. We can actually strike back now. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, pilot recovery, Captain Ridley. Oh, Ridley got hurt! Okay. I didn't even see that. Huh. Huh. Okay. Alright, Commander, there's a civilian settlement on the way to the refinery. Spears wants us to protect it from the Infernal Forces. He has an interest in safeguarding it, or for whatever reason, and he's willing to pay us for the efforts. Our second primary objective is the refinery's fuel storage depots. There's three of them. We blow those up, we help salvage, uh, sorry, starve Infernos out of fuel they obviously need. The way into the refinery itself is fortified. Once you get past the initial defenses and gain entry, I expect stiff opposition. They won't let go of their prize without a fight, so watch your back. Good luck. Alright, so 76, oh, 72 days until um, Ridley is coming back. Luckily she didn't, didn't get killed. It's important. Uh, that means that we need to put another pilot into the seat of our mechs, and that's pretty good. So that they also get some... Um, oh, okay. Uh, some experience. Where are we going now? Let's see. I think I want to make a stop, like, right here in Gansing. Only traveling to this point. And then I want to see if there's something in the proximity, in the travel hub, that might pique our interest. I have the feeling that you only have a, a certain amount of vision radius or intel radius what's around you. So let's take a look at the star map again. And we can get rare weapons here in Halloran. Uh, yeah, I'll go there. 
Let's do it. We have a bit of money left over. And we are pretty stocked on max, so I think our next objective, our next goal in terms of advancing in, in our strength and our power level is gathering more money. We don't necessarily need to go for salvage because we have an archer, a grasshopper, a jäger mech. Lots of medium mechs. We don't need it. So let's take a look at this here. Also Ready barracks first. Ready to be of Nothing there. But the market has something interesting. <laughs> Another grasshopper. Um, oh, well, a thunderbolt. <laughs> That's a thunderbolt, everybody. Looking forward to the heavy lance. Grasshopper, thunderbolt, archer, and the jäger mech, maybe? That's a good one here, by the way. I like this thunderbolt as a lot. Has a large missile launcher, a bunch of medium, one large uh, energy um, hard points. Uh, we're gonna drop the machine guns and not use the SRM2. But an LRM5, the large laser, and the mediums together are really good already. You can also put a PPC on this, and the rest is going into armoring up. It's a lot of sea builds, though. We need 4 million to build that, to buy that, and then we also have to build that. And there is a financial report coming. It's a matter of, I want it. Not a matter of, do we need it? I could sell the Griffin though, because I wasn't a fan of it in the first place. Let's do it and pick up the Thunderbolt instead. Yeah. Uh, also, wait, before we do that, let's take a look at the equipment, because there was something interesting here. Uh, LRM 5, ooh, tier 3, not bad. Then there was something like pulse lasers, if I saw that correctly. SRM 6. That's mine. That's all mine. <laughs> Alright, um, um, nobody saw that. Here it is, a large pulse laser. Tier 3. Good. I mean, it's good. What can I say? It's a good weapon system. Also a very heavy weapon system. And then there was a medium pulse. Tier 3. SRM4, tier 3. That's a, that's a pickup for our brawler. I'll take it. And we also take the Thunderbolt. Let's go. Purchase. Ta-da! We got another heavy mech. Hell yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this beauty. Man, I love Thunderbolts. They are, they are so versatile. I really like them. Uh, quick check here on the paint pattern. Uh, BCO, DOO, copy that. So, first of all, paint mech. B, B, yeah, BCO, DOO, there was that red. Then we're gonna go down here to Steiner. Yeah. Add that, and we have our Thunderbolt painted. Then, I think the Archer also needs paint, right? Yeah, let's do that real quick. Uh, Steiner first. Go, there. BCO, DOO. There's the white. We're gonna keep that exact white, and that's the dark red. Perfect. So, the archer is already built, which means we could use it. Uh, the Thunderbolt is in a pretty bad spot. But again, I don't want the SRM here. I don't need it. I don't think that we need it. What we need instead is a large laser. I think we'll go with the large laser here. Also, a repair. Dropping the machine gun. Definitely putting the LRM ammo somewhere else. In the legs, probably. Okay, machine gun ammo can also go. Medium lasers are fine where they are. Rest is heat sinks. Good. Um, the armor is quite good. I expected less, honestly. Alright, that's fine. We have four tons to spare. We could actually take the pulse laser into this build. Two tons of LRM ammo is good enough. We can actually put a 20 on this. And we I think we have one... Oh, no, it was on the trebuchet. The trebuchet... In that case, yeah, that's my inventory. I always confuse them, market and inventory. Uh, we couldn't use the twenty. We have, we have the, we have the everything. And you know what? Let's put the five in there. Ah, haha, haha, haha. So now it doesn't work anymore. Single heat sinks are. Pr we can probably use another single heat sink. Okay, yeah. So that's the build. Three mediums. We have one large, one LRM20. It's a nice support mech. It's a, a jack of all trades here, but it's a good one. We have enough heat sinking. We have enough ammo. That's a good build. Doesn't take us so much to build. Good. And we have a Thunderbolt now. So our, our options are great. 
We can basically field any mech for any given situation. Perfect. Uh, we don't... How do we take the pulse laser? How do we afford it? It's a good weapon, again. No, I don't take it. It's too, too expensive right now. And I wouldn't know what I want to do with it. So, no, we are not taking that. So, we close. We go over to the star map again because there's the next contract available. And it's down here in football. 20 days, 100,000. We're quite on the edge there in terms of money. Okay, we go to the market. Let's sell something from our inventory. A um, bunch of those. And a bunch of those. A bunch of those. We have so many flamers. And there's large lasers. I want to keep them. That's important to me. I think we can get rid of... Those LRM5s. Okay. And... Yeah, we have 1 million seals. Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's just go. That is enough to actually save us the hassle of getting bankrupt. Here we go. Next mission coming up. We have a... I think it's a double mission here. Let's see what we can do. We might also just get the random mission that is available on this planet and we are not even taking the, the story mission there. What do we have? Please show it to me. First strike, 40. Yeah. Carnage limit. Uh, where can I see it again? Oh, 230. Fine. 230. Okay. So we don't get much in terms of salvage from this. I think I'll go with the money. Let's go with money and a bit of repairs. And the good thing is that we have a pretty high tonnage limit again. We're not using the blackjack. Definitely not. We might use the... Archer. Okay. And the Shadowhawk. Yeah. That's working. That is indeed working. Two supports, though. One brawler, one midliner. Okay, and we have injuries. What does that mean? That I probably cannot field you. So, who do we take instead? It's gonna be Captain Tabor. But she is not good with missiles. We need somebody who has some missile proficiency. Let's use Captain Darren here. Um, Dar Darden, actually. Darden is gonna play the archer. It's gonna be Freeman here. Freeman on the... It would be better if you could drag and drop them. That would be way more interesting. Like all of my all of my mechs are missile oriented. Crap. Oh man, one out of three is not great. No, it's gonna be that. Freeman is gonna play the Shadowhawk because he's better uh, with the SRMs there, and it's fine. It's one LRM on the Trebuchet. The rest is medium lasers. So let's go. Two twenty five out of two thirty, looking solid. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about something. I'm gonna bring the Jagger, and you are playing the Firestarter. It's better. It's better setup. We have more firepower here, I believe. Let's go with that. So, two frontliners, a midliner, and a long range. It's better than having the trap doing more or less nothing. I always have the feeling that those LRMs are. Um, you know, because of their minimum range, my pilots, my mech warriors, sometimes won't fire them when they are swarmed. And it's better to have the somebody that is really able to, to defend itself in point defense, with point defense weapons, like small lasers, small pulse lasers, machine guns, uh, in the fire starter. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Here we go. All systems nominal. Yeah, let's go. So, we have an assassination in front of us. And the good thing is that we are playing for all of the owls, so we cannot get a bit of reputation for them. Eventually, eventually we will be in good standing with all of the factions, because we always get more reputation with the one that we, than we lose with the other faction. That's really nice. And the problem will be that we will probably trigger both um, both, both, both uh, locations directly at the same time. Ow. Alright. Move fast, strike fast, and then we're gonna get the hell out of here. It will be an utter mess. 
I can already see it coming. Let's try to stay away from this base here and try to only trigger the guards from the other base. Making a wide circle around it. Engaging from the south completely. Let's see if that's possible. There come the missiles. Good. Good job, Archer. While we are moving, while we are... <laughs> the ragdolls are going crazy again. I love it. I really do love it. Got that guy. And now we are swiveling over here. It's good. Oh man, oh man. There was something behind that rock. Oh wait, Igor! Get him down. He's nasty. He has two AC-10s. Those VTOLs have to go as quickly as possible. Mm, oh, the spawns. Or maybe it was the guy that I saw behind the, the hill here. I don't know, but it felt like a random spawn in our back. Uh, SRM carrier. Yep. Centurion. Yeah, let's go for the Centurion first. He has an AC-20 burst fire and I want it off the board right now. Just stop that. Okay. Okay. And he's down. Got him. Ooh. Fire starter. And there's another lance coming down right away. What is going on? Why? Why? Look at this. Oh no. What? I'm gonna get out of here. I'm just... What? I hate those random spawns. That's not okay. That's just not cool. Frame rate is suffering, by the way, like crazy. So I'm gonna try to destroy the logo to maintain my frame rate. Easy targets first. We are about to lose a weapon system. Yeah, this guy's going critical. Um, there's so much stuff happening. So much of it at the same time. Okay. Spider, please. I think we have it under control, but three men. Oh my god, three men. This mech looks bad. Like, really bad. Oops. Wide arms are wide. Ah, uh, more, more carriers. Can we get that spider off the field, please? Okay, got him. We gotta clear the area before we go. What about you, man? Looking good. Oh, the hawk. Okay, so the hawk lost the laser. Fine. Okay, if that's the case, then that's the case. Whew. As I was saying, I do believe that both of the camps were triggered at the same time. So, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if that was the case, but it felt like it. Yeah, LR40. Who's cheating here, huh? LRM40. I can do the same thing on my Archer, but still. Hell? Didn't lose my weapon yet. Ah, LRM Locust. Okay. Come on, guys, get him! Yeah, you can do it. Nice. Let's get out of here. Wow. That was scary. <laughs> like, all of the enemies right on us. The spawn, the spawn, the spawn, the spawn. Sometimes it's just so wild. But it sets you under pressure. Okay, got it. So let's see what we can get out of this here. We went with money and a bit of repairs and we will get hmm, two salvage rides. There's nothing we want really. Um, yeah, I'll take the LRM. We go with most value then. So yeah, the total damage is quite high. We negotiated for a compensation of 170 something. So we will take all of that. And we could have actually negotiated for two damage coverage to get all of it done. Would have been better.
But okay. Guys, I would say that's it for today. That was your episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We made some great progress. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, it would be very much appreciated. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.